Well, the rising gun violence and threat to public safety dominated the first New York City mayoral debate between the eight leading Democratic contenders. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer joins us with the highlights. Marsha. Well, Dick and Christine, the Democratic mayoral primary is just under six weeks away, and there are deep divisions among the contenders about whether to cut the NYPD budget. Those are the questions generating the most heat. Yeah, I'm a 6'4", 200-pound black man. I want to have the police protect me and not profile me. With the Times Square shootings and ever-increasing gun violence and subway crime dominating the headlines, it was no big surprise that in their first major debate, the eight leading Democratic mayoral contenders tried to either defend the cops or defund them. We actually need to recognize that police respond to crime. They don't prevent crime. The division pronounced when the candidates were asked if they would send more cops to police the subways. Only half the candidates raised their hands. The sharpest exchange between defund the cops proponent Maya Wiley attacking former cop Eric Adams, implying he supported the controversial stop, question, and frisk policies. How can New Yorkers trust you to protect us and to keep us safe from police misconduct? Every time you raise that question, it really it just shows your failure of understanding uh, law enforcement. Having chaired the New York City Civilian Complaint Review Board, I certainly understand misconduct. I told everyone at the beginning of the race, once candidates start getting desperate, it's going to get really nasty. There were a number of embarrassing questions. Why, for example, did Andrew Yang fail to vote in mayoral elections? I've certainly been active in other ways. I helped swing those two state races in Georgia. Sean Donovan was asked about the propriety of his dad running a super PAC that has poured millions of outside money into his campaign. There are dozens of these groups supporting almost every candidate it's in this race. And in fact, every Scott Stringer That's had 17 of these groups when he Not ran for comptroller candidate. in 2013. Don't get me involved be, in your daddy's clear. problems. Bringing back the economy was another important topic. Catherine Garcia pointing out that the pandemic has forced many women to stop working. Which is why we need free child care for those who are making under $70,000 a year. Wiley confronted with the fact that she worked for Bill de Blasio. I quit five years ago. I voted with my feet. Now with ranked choice voting, the candidates were asked who their supporters should choose as number two. Two chose Garcia, but four copped out and chose no one. Christine and Dick. All right, Marcia, thanks very much. Thank More you, to go. Marcia. Yeah, thanks.